In previous videos, we've looked at how we can apply audio processing like fade-ins or even pitch shifting or time stretching or normalization over the top of events that we have selected out in our main project window. We've even looked at how you can apply plugins over the top of this selected audio and turned this sound right here into that sound. Now let's have a look at how you get this window up again. You can press F7 on your computer keypad or you can go up to audio and select direct offline processing, which brings up this window here. If we click on this little icon, we can now see all of those processes that we applied over the top of the selected audio event. And we can go through and continue to edit these processes. Now this second event here is bypass. So as soon as we click on the bypass button, it goes back to applying that process, which is normalization. In the video so far, I've shown you how to add processes or plugins just using these two drop down menus right here inside the window itself. But you can also go up to the audio menu and you can add processes and plugins directly via this drop down menu. You can also add them by clicking on the event and going over to the left hand side and inside the process tab you can add processes and of course you can add audio plugins as well. So there's a number of different ways to achieve it, which is quite standard for a door like Cubase. We can make our processing permanent by using this function right here, but you need to be careful because as soon as we make this permanent, it really is permanent and you can't undo it. So you need to make sure that you're happy with what you have over the top of the event. We can reorder these processes simply by dragging them up or down. And as we do that, Cubase will reprocess them and you'll notice the difference in the waveform down the bottom. We can also drag them individually down the bottom into the banks and we can store them as favorites, ready to be applied over other events in our music production. So there's a number of banks there which I still have left blank just in case I find something else that I want to store as a favorite. So the process is fairly straightforward. You can right mouse click over the top of these individual processes to delete them and you can also delete them just by using the trash can icon up the top here. One really neat function about the favorite banks down the bottom is you can change it as you're working through your music production. So let's say you want to add another process to it, then you simply select the bank and you just drag and drop that process down. And once again, you can delete these processes by right mouse clicking on them and selecting delete. The other thing you can do is basically bypass these individual effects or processes and as you bypass them, once again, Cubase is going to process that bypass and change the wave file. You do need to be a bit careful here because I've just bypassed the time stretch and all of a sudden my audio event has changed and I can't see the actual wave file. That's because I've edited the start and finish point of the event itself after applying the time stretch. You do need to be a little bit careful. Let's look at a real life application for these favorite banks. I've got my normalization function here. Now I'm clicking on the other events and just simply clicking on that normalize tab to have all of the events that I've selected normalized. So now they're all uniformed in amongst that track. Next, I'm selecting all of the processes and I'm dragging them all down to a blank or empty bank. And I can give it a name. And now when I click on this event that I've copied and pasted, I can simply go up and click on this tab to have all of those processes instantly applied to that one event. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video on direct offline processing. There's plenty of other videos to show you more techniques on how you can use the direct offline processor on the Cubase YouTube channel. Please subscribe for plenty more videos just like this. I'm gonna catch you there.